Welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP, and we're looking at the iHover widget by Premium Add-ons for either the Pro or the Free, or both for Elementor. Let's have a look at this. Jump right into Elementor. Hey, but before we do that, let me show you what the iHover widget does. At the beginning, you may not think it's that interesting, but I'm going to tell you, I love it. I love it. It is something that animation, again, is done properly, and it's done right. And everyone I've shown it to just say, congratulations, great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me show you. If we go to the premium add-ons website, and if you want to check them out, please follow the link in the description below. You will see they are giving us quite a few examples of how this iHover works. And you immediately understand iHover means I have to hover over these images. What makes the hover effect so spectacular is the animation. Very nice. Let's do that one again. Let's look at this one. This one comes from the top. This one comes from the side. And if you think that's all they've got up their sleeve, think again. Look at that nice transition. And you will notice that there are three levels included in this one. There is your front image. Then there is what they call the overlay. And then as it transitions, you will see this one in the back. That is the background. Keep this in mind, you will see when we get to the tutorial that we'll be working with this container, with the overlay, and then the background. And then there's a fade in. I really like it. Those punch in and punch outs. Very nice. And this very retro feeling once. Very nicely done. Look how the box slides out. Positions on the left, the right, and of course, at the bottom. And even here, you have some gifts. Hey, where did you go, Rudolf? Right. One thing that is not set with this add-on, and this is the most important thing that you have to make a mental note of, everything you've seen here, the images, have been done in a one-to-one -one ratio. If you bring in any other dimension, like a 16 to 9, or a 4 to 3, or 5 to 4, your images are going to be stretched. So let's go have a look at that. I'm going to bring in, similar to what they did, three sections or three columns in one section, and then I'll search for I hover, you hover, we all hover together, and then bring it in. The first thing I want to show you is what happens when you bring an image that is not one-to-one. -one. And I'm going to grab this image here of this lovely puppy, and you will see what happens to him. He gets all squashed, and there's nothing you can do about that. The size is not going to change that. That ratio, squashing it to a one-to-one, -one is going to remain. So before you bring your images in, please make sure they are one-to-one -one or you go crop them within WordPress. So these little three icons I'm going to be working with from Websites for Beginners, they are all in a one-to-one. -one. Let's bring in this. You can see over here, 600 by 600. And I made it 600 because for this display, a third, not even a third, it's like smaller than a third because you have the white space on the sides. 600 is more than enough. You don't need to bring in larger than that. Good. If I hover over it, there's already animation applied. And I think the first thing I want to do is change this color so we can see what we are working with. And the background color, I'm going to grab it with my color picker over here. Copy. Now, when we go to the styling, let's do the styling first. This will be our container. Now, remember I told you where the words appear, that is the overlay. So I paste it here. You'll see now. And then there is another one called background, which is not applicable to this effect. But I'm going to give that anyway a color, a little lighter pink here on the side, and I'm going to paste that one in as well. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so now that I've got this pink, I'm also going to change my icon color to the same color. And then for the title, I'm going to do the same. Let's see. Right, now we got something that we can work with. Let's hop back into the content. Now, don't play around with the size. The size, play around with your columns, bring in your columns correctly, drag and drop. You'll see if you start playing around, this is what happens. And now getting it back to the size you want is going to be tricky and you can overshoot your boundaries. If that happens, delete and you will see 
it will go back to that or you just click on the percentage it will also reset it that's very good the alignment is done within your columns and you may think yeah i'm not going to need that but if you try to save some space you can put this one on the right leave the middle one in the middle and the one on the right that one you put on the left right right left right does that make sense Content. Now, this is where we add our stuff. We have an icon, and unfortunately, I have to hover every time to see what I'm doing. And you can leave the icon, or you can switch it off. Let's put the icon there, and let's search for something like a star. Star half empty, star half full. I didn't know you could see stars like that. Let's leave the star and increase the size of the star. Icon size bigger. Okay. That is our icon. Then we have a title. Yes, I want the title. Magical Journeys. And H4 is good enough for me. Okay. And then I want to have a separator. It's that line that you see there now. And then a description. A journey of Fantasy. Ooh, okay. I'm very creative when I didn't plan. Right. Okay. Now these ones... Do not draw the color. I'll have to go and give them their colors as well. Okay, and that's all we're going to do here. Let me go and style those things first. Icon, I'm happy with the icon. Title, I want to change the topography to Princess Fiona. Oh, Princess Sophia. I'm so hooked on Shrek. Princess Sophia. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Magical, way too big. Okay, right. It's a little bit weird to read it, but that's the whole idea of magic, right? Make this color also that same purple. And with that, I'm fine with that. Description. And we're also going to change the color now here. And I'm also going to make that Princess Sophia. I'm also going to make my line height. Well, not necessary. Let's first change the size. A journey, a journey of fantasy. A little bit larger. I want it to go into two lines. And I'm going to make my line height 1. Now, very important, I will recommend that definitely for your description is to add padding here. So I'm going to unlink it. And then for the right, add in 20. And for the left, add in 20. Let's see how that looks. Much better. That's good. Good, 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 good job. And you should play around with those padding to make sure that everything displays nicely. And then the container, well, that's done. And here we are. We are done. Really, this is it. Of course, you can add, you know, your colors, your text, images, your icons, and make it look really groovy. But now let's go to the power of the iHover widget. And that is the hover effect. Right. So currently we have advertising. That's what they call this one. I can play around with these effects forever. Let's look at the next one. Wow. Let's do it again. I can do that for hours. You can just imagine you do this one on the left, you do one on the right. Let's change another one backward. Ooh, right? Again, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm getting hooked on it. Fade in background? Oh, well, that wasn't so unexpected. Faded in background. Flash rotation. Way. Yes, way. And let's look at another one. Flip background. Okay, like a coin flip and flip door. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. I like it. Let's copy this. I'm right clicking and then I click on copy and then I'm going to paste it here and paste it here. Let's go style these ones as well. You've seen what it can do. So let's do a little bit of funky cold Medina and I'm bringing in another one. And now I just need to go and grab different colors from that one. Did I get it now? I'm not so sure. Let me just grab that yellow. Close it out. I'll, just, I'll keep the purple. So let's just go to the container and change this color. Both of them. I'm going to change both of them. This one I'm going to make actually darker. And then this one. Did we have a good job? Okay. That yellow is a little bit too much. Let me grab it again and go for the green perfectionist we are 
Good. OK. And then we can also change the text, of course, if we want to do that. Change the image for this one. A bat. Your love is blind as a bat. OK. Grab that blue. And then over here. OK. Normally, this is what we always say. I would spend more time on it, but I'm not going to do that now. Right. OK, so let's give all of these guys different animations. Click on it. Flip door. We had heroes flying top. There is the heroes flying. Um, let's look at reduced image to the right. Now, I choose this one on purpose because you will see your reduced image is going to cut off your text. And if you are going to apply this, you understand what I'm going to tell you. You need to go to your container and now this is for your container, the entire container, you need to apply padding to your right. So that's why I'm showing you that one, not because I did that by mistake. It was planned, Sally. 30. Um, are we moving it to the right? What? Oh, I'm moving the container. I see. See, now you can understand it wasn't even planned. Right, so let's go back to that and then let's go this. OK, so we've got this one, then Magical Journeys, which is our title. Let's add some there as well. OK, I'll need to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now I know what I did wrong here. Again, you did the unspeakable. OK, it's starting to look better. So you, I'll, why did it do that again? I did unlink it. Makes me angry. OK, now I'm going to do it again, please. There we go. OK, right. Finally, I'll add a little bit more there. Let's make it 38. 38? Yes, 38. We have to be precise. So this one, which is the reduced image, you will can you will have to when you do it to the right and also when you do it to the left. You see now we've put everything on the left, just shift it all again with padding. That is very important that you do that. Let's give this one another effect. Uh, rotated image left. I, I like this effect a lot, except the colors clash. Nonetheless, I like the effect. Let's choose another one. This one I really like, Rotor Cube. Hey, I really like this one. Let me just go style that color because it's going to drive me mad. Absolutely. Style container, this one. OK, now we're in business. Ah, nice. OK, and while we're saying about things that can drive us mad. Let's go also change the icon. And then the separator. Ah, let's leave the separator in for good measure at that color. A nice color scheme. I think the purple works. Yes, yes. Right. Um, let's have a f look at a few more rotor cube slide it out oh okay nice image slide it in image okay i really love this widget this is this is very different and this one you will see it has applied like a spinner if i hover over it now the moment you activate this spinner you will see when you go back to style that the spinner will now appear here so you can set the colors here for your spinner set that one to blue and then let's set this one to black right okay just to let you know this is how the spinner works you have to go and check that and i would even like to add a Container, box shadow. Here we go. I want to add a shadow. So I'm going to add a horizontal shadow. Three, three. See, very nice. Shadow is applied there. And then to make it even more funky, you go to your widgets advanced. And from here, you select another rotating in down left. Yes. Let's make this one rotating in down right. It's a little bit overkill, but that's what we're here for. And this one, we can give it something really wobble. Whee! All right, let's update it. And then let's go preview it on the front end.
Hey. Nice. Ah, oh, yeah, that one we have to fix. Zip. It makes you f feel so proud when you see what your children have become, right? This is the iHover effect from premium add-ons. If you want to go check it out, please follow the link in the description below and give us feedback on the video. As always, we like to hear from you guys. You know, anything that you think we can add on or anything we missed, that's always welcome. So this is JP signing off here for Websites for Beginners.